Okay, so today we are looking at the cloud-based operating system known as Jolly OS. Now Jolly OS was formerly known as Jolly Cloud, but now they have simplified the name of the installable operating system to Jolly OS, and they have uh, left all of their other services and applications to Jolly Cloud. Now Jolly Cloud is a very, very interesting concept, and I've been wanting to do a video on Jolly Cloud for some time now, but the screen recording just has not worked out, and until finally I figured out a way to do it, and hopefully this turns out okay. However, all the drama aside, Jolly Cloud is a very excellent concept. It basically takes the best part of cloud computing, the web apps that people use every day, and merge it with a local operating system that you can also install native apps. So you can install VLC, Firefox, Banshee, uh, Transmission, etc. It's a very lightweight distribution. It is built on an, a minimal core build of Ubuntu 10.04. So it is the long-term support release. So it is extremely stable and I haven't had any crashes of any kind whatsoever. It's a very lightweight, it's a very polished professional product. And if you go to their website, you will see as much. Now basically, Jolly Cloud all, re all revolves around your Jolly Cloud account which you create, uh, you can even create with your Facebook account, uh, but you simply sign in and then it creates an HTML5 web environment inside the core operating system. So basically what this is, uh, a Google Chrome instance or Chromium running in full screen, uh, topped by a GNOME panel here on the top, which can manage all your open windows and an underlying GNOME system at its core. So you can see here I've got a terminal running and, uh, and I can open up Synaptic by just hitting Alt F2. And then that'll open up Synaptic Package Manager. So you can do all the things that you would generally do in a GNOME distribution, including opening up a, a Nautilus window, etc. So it is core GNOME uh, at its base. However, the main operating environment is going to be here in this HTML5 interface, which is indeed, of course, a website. Now, the cool thing about Jolly Cloud is that it is it is centered around web apps. So essentially you have all your favorite web applications here as links on the start page and then when you want to get back to them you simply click the little home button in the top left hand corner and you can move between your favorite applications now you'll notice these ones that are grayed out here these are these are local in, locally installed applications which are set up on your account but they aren't downloaded and installed on your uh, on the system that you're using therefore they're not usable when you're in guest mode or when you're on the net because they are locally installed applications however when you install this operating system, it will automatically pull down and install whatever applications you have set up on your Jolly Cloud account. Now this is extremely convenient as it's very much like having the Ubuntu One service and the Ubuntu One Conf service already up and running uh, in, in a very workable solution here. So anytime you add an application, so I can come in here to the Add Applications window, which I'm going to talk about a bit more in a second. But basically, you can get any application you want here and simply click Add, and it will add that application to your account. Now, first of all, of course, we have web apps, which are the main point behind Jolly OS. Popular services like Office Live, GrooveShark, Wikipedia, Evernote, Windows Live, Hotmail, and, uh, and games like Angry Birds and, uh, and all the Google stuff like Google Docs, Reader, and Calendar. They're all available here, and you, with a simple click of the button, they are automatically put on your home screen. If they are native apps, you can click on add and they will add them to the list of apps to be downloaded and installed once you have a locally installed operating system. So for instance, I can add uh, Banshee and it will automatically download and add that media player the next time I install Jolly OS on hardware. Now of course, if I go back to my home screen, you'll see that uh, these applications will now be available on my home screen. However, they are not launchable as they are local applications and they are not web apps. However, the web apps will work just dandy and you can see here, this is Google Maps. Now, all of your browser instances are managed up the top here on this little task manager up in the top left-hand corner and it's a very minimalist way to keep all those windows functioning and out of the way. Now I want to go back to the adding applications. This is quite a handy little app store if you will. Uh, honestly they've designed it very nicely. It's very minimalistic but it's nicely categorized and it gives you just the right amount of information. Makes it very easy to add popular applications and in all honesty they've done a fantastic job in keeping the relevant applications at the front. Now here if we go to the Jolly Cloud blog 
you can see that first of all they've really done a nice job of pulling out the best applications, the best locally installed applications that Linux has to offer and providing them in their own repo that you can then download and install no matter what system you're using. So you can see here we've got they've highlighted a few ones that they've just recently updated like Firefox 5, Banshee, Hulu Desktop, uh, Skype and Transmission. Uh, and also of course they've added some uh, some very nice web apps here as well such as Angry Birds, Google Music, Pick a Pick, Amazon Cloud Player and Podio and Google Plus. They do a very nice job of categorizing their applications and providing them in a very easy to install interface and it's probably the most professional approach I have seen to managing applications on, on, on any Linux desktop and honestly this is a very graceful solution uh, to a very real problem and that is uh, filtering out what Linux applications are the best for the job. So you can see here that we've got them all neatly categorized and we've got two pages of them which they do highlight. You can of course install any uh, Linux application as Synaptic Package Manager is only a simple command away. And then you have full access to the Ubuntu repos uh, that anything available within Ubuntu 10.04 is now available here for you to download and install. So in that sense you're not really limited to what you are capable of doing like you are with, uh, with Google Chrome OS. It is still a useful system uh, if you are offline, uh, you are still able to use locally installed apps and you are able to store and, uh, and use local files and folders. Now having said local files and folders, let's have a look at the files and folders area. Now, as you can see here that we've got a very uh, bare bones uh, file browser here. Uh, you can simply pop in and out of your user files and folders uh, with not much trouble at all. But the interesting thing comes then when you have uh, when you have web accounts, uh, web storage like Dropbox or Google Documents. As you can see here, the my Dropbox account has already been uh, synchronized and you can actually put in your login details for Dropbox, link it to Jolly Cloud and it will automatically pull down your Dropbox details uh, as you need them. And the same goes for G Google Docs. You can see here I can access all my Google Documents here in the file browser which is very very convenient. Along the side we also have the hardware devices, any USB drives you might plug in. Now also your Jolly Cloud account is, a, is very uh, socially networked in that if you have logged in with your Facebook account all of the apps that you use and download are going to be advertised here and this is like your friend stream, this is what uh, your Facebook friends and uh, and other people who are using Jolly Cloud. This is where it shows up what uh, applications they have used and the ones that they like. So you can see here that because I'm such a popular person I don't have any friends except for Jolly Cloud themselves and they have recommended some uh, new applications here that they have updated recently. So we've got some nice categories along the top here and it's a very workable solution for integrating social networking into your everyday geeking life. For the home screens we have some very nice backgrounds here. Um, they do a great job with their artwork. Honestly, they've got some fantastic photos here that you can use to spice up your desktop. And I really don't have much more to say except for the fact that they are slightly lower resolution so you can tell this is meant to be for lower res screens. Uh, on a big 17 inch laptop it's not really practical but regardless they are very nice wallpapers. You can search any apps and friends that you might have up the top here. So with a simple search of transmission It'll automatically come up with a transmission BitTorrent client that you can download and install. And the same goes for any other web query you might have. Quick search on Google and you can come up with all your favorite web results for whatever you might have. The other interesting thing is that uh, Flash and Video and Audio Codecs are installed out of the box. It is only a 700 meg download so it's not too bad on the juice at all. It's uh, very suitable for, uh, for small drive netbooks that only have limited storage. You can see here that the system resources aren't too heavy at all. This system is very, very snappy and I haven't noticed any lagging whatsoever. Now the other thing that is interesting about Jolly OS or Jolly Cloud Service in general is that when you go to their homepage they do have quite a professional and well-designed approach to what they would like to see uh, in a cloud-based operating system. Apart from the fact that they're advertising that they have significant changes on the way uh, coming out this fall, they have already built quite a wonderful uh, service and application into uh, many of the popular app stores and platforms. So you can see here we've got a Chrome web app, 
Uh, we've got an application in the Android market and in the App Store. So really it is available for whatever device you might be running. The Jolly Cloud concept becomes very convenient when you are managing multiple machines but you're on the go a lot so you don't have time to be synchronizing files and folders and web apps that you commonly use in between services. So here's a tip, here's a possibly useful scenario. What happens is that you are on the road a lot, you might have a small netbook that you take with you just to keep up with your Facebook and Twitter and Gmail, uh, Google Docs, etc. And then when you get home, uh, all you have to do is fire up a web browser like Chrome or Chromium, uh, have the Jolly Cloud app installed on Chrome, simply launch Jolly Cloud and you're in the exact same HTML5 interface that you were before. Same goes for then when you might move over to a laptop or a desktop or any other computer around the world, you log in with your details and you are at your own personal Jolly Cloud operating system. It's a very elegant solution to combining the cloud and the local system and it really covers a lot of ground with elegance and style. Honestly, these guys do not get enough recognition for the good work that they have done and really these guys had the cloud-based operating system down pat long before Google Chrome OS ever came along. So major props to the Jolly Cloud team for their constant improvements to this platform. Uh, you can even run this, uh, this operating system, this cloud-based operating system if you will, on an iOS device or even Android, so you are really not tethered down at all. You have your cloud-based operating system that is capable of going wherever you go with all your favorite web apps and web services like Google Docs and Dropbox automatically synced and keeping your files and folders up to date no matter where you are. It's a very simple and elegant solution to a cloud-based computing future. And the installable version, Jolly OS, cannot be knocked in any regard, really. Uh, it is a snappy system, it responds well, very easy to install, but still has all those core known features if you want to tinker around a bit. So that's Jolly OS. If you have a netbook or if you are out, if you are out on the road a lot, definitely check this one out. It's been recommended a few times to me and I've been wanting to get around to it for some time, but I'm glad I finally have, as I have been using Jolly Cloud for about a year and a half now. So thoroughly recommended as it's a very worthwhile service and these guys do deserve a lot more attention in the tech world. Okay, so today we are looking at 